everybody. You're driving with Steven. And I'm, Liesl. Yeah, but I'm not <laughs> Steven. Um, as you can see in the back, we've got Giselle. And stuff. And stuff. Right. So, all right. So, explain? we wanted to just kind of let you guys in on how we chat about a project we're working on. So, right now, we've been in Tucson today. Uh, purchasing items and kind of planning out the remodel for a house and we are talking the kitchen So Liesl kind of tell them what we were thinking about doing with this kitchen so people can start to visualize in their imagination uh, Well to start it off this kitchen It's an L-shaped kitchen open uh, It had one huge problem um, Also had an open laundry room so we are removing the laundry portion of that kitchen and expanding the availability of the actual kitchen itself. So if you can envision along the wall on one side was the washer and dryer, dishwasher sink, corner cabinets, and then coming around on that L was a cabinet, stove, cabinet, and fridge. So fridge, cabinet, stove, and cabinet stay in the same with um, exception of we're turning it into a corner cabinet with a lazy Susan because everybody loves a lazy Susan at least I do um, and then which causes us to have to move everything over just a little bit but we're getting rid of the washer and dryer which it means we can add pantry cabinets because it is so important to have extra storage in your kitchen, especially if there's no existing pantry. And then we're going to add a very functioning kitchen island. Um, We've been finding that if we don't have a peninsula already, kitchen islands tend to be our little niche that we throw in every house and we make each one unique. Yes. Um, so the other day we were looking through the cabinets at our local store. Um, so we learned the hard way. Don't get unfinished cabinetry and then you finish them later because that just adds so much time to your project. So we're getting the finished stuff in the color that we're hoping to finish the whole kitchen in, which meant certain things are specialty items. And while we were in Tucson, we checked the store there they had the Lazy Susan and the upper corner cabinet. So that's what you see. That's the Lazy Susan and behind it is the corner cabinet for the upper wall. Uh, we also stopped at the Window Depot to order the granite countertops because we have discovered it is actually more cost effective to get granite from there because it is such a good price as well as it adds a lot more value to the kitchen as a whole, and everybody loves being able to take something straight from the oven and put it on the dead room counter and not have to worry about ruining your countertop because of the heat of the item. As well as, you know, if you want to cut something real quick and you can't find a cutting board, you're either going to make a permanent damage to your Formica countertop or you got granite. doesn't matter. Just wipe it away. And Giselle's waving at you, so hopefully you all are <laughs> enjoying the little show that's a four-year-old back there. But see, this, hey, this sit is down. Actually, this is actually something cool, though. <laughs> so we get to do this as a family. So my four-year-old's with me. You know, my five-month-old daughter's with us buying your stick and a nap. Um, but this is a family event, and for too many people, I think that they go to work, like like for me as a dad, right? I'd go to work, I'd be gone all day, I'd come home, and I'd be tired, but my wife's, you know, tired from dealing with the kids, and so we're both tired, trying to figure out what to do to finish out the evening. And, okay, and I, I would spend all this time to provide a home that I never got to really be in. And it was really frustrating. Um, but now we're together all the time. It's really great. So... Um, and when my kids get on my nerves, I tell them, he came first. Our family doesn't exist without him. So when Correct. I've had enough of them, it's his fault. Right. But because he's home, he's not in trouble anymore. Um, <laughs> so anyway, but with all that being said, so we are taking a kitchen that was 70s dated, had the laundry room in the kitchen, like not in the closet, like physically part of the cabinet. Who the heck wants that? That was so, a bad design. So we're pulling all that out and giving a, a new L-shaped kitchen with a kitchen island 
Um, it had fluorescent lighting up above with a kind of a coffered ceiling. So we're going to take and make yeah, some use of that um, and, and do some beautifying. We're still trying to design that out a little bit and we've been talking about, you know, maybe putting in a tin ceiling or, or doing some kind of crown molding shape in there. Just something to kind of pretty it up. Yeah, to um, make it seem like a nice feature instead of a... That's correct. dated. But now we're going to have some, some beautiful laminate wood flooring in there. We're going to put in white kitchen cabinets with dark counter, you know, kind of not I quite really black, like, but very dark. I really like the uh, granite tops. Shows. And then it's going to have a custom kitchen island in the middle. You know, you, you're going to walk into this kitchen and be like, oh my goodness, I need to live in this home. I and can these, see myself in this kitchen. Right. These are the features that Liesl and I try to do because we all know that kitchens and bathrooms help sell homes. But we don't want to overspend our budget either. So we've gotten really clever. So, for example, we're able to buy the granite pre-made ourselves and just have it cut out for the sinks and the lengths of the counters that are needed. And that saves me thousands of dollars, which, bottom line, is important, right? So, so you know, it's, it's all in figuring out your creativity and what you can do with what's, what's available to you in your area. Anything else, honey, besides the little waving girl? I know. This is ridiculous. I just have... <laughs> so, so like a little kid. Right. So that's that. With that being said, stay tuned because at some point you're going to start seeing pictures of what this kitchen that we just described actually looks like. And the beautiful part is this entire kitchen is probably going to cost us under five grand. And yet we're going to have a beautiful kitchen. So learning how to do these things, fabulous. Thanks for watching. Say bye, Giselle. <laughs> See you on the next one.